hello friends today let us start with a concept called okay calculation calculation of okay distressing temperature calculation of distressing temperature td okay so let us go in detail about how to calculate distressing temperature right so to calculate this distressing temperature first we should have mean temperature of the section right once we know mean section mean temperature of the section we can easily easily calculate distressing temperature right so now let us understand how to calculate this mean temperature so for this let me take one small example here okay so let us have this so i'm taking yeah, a 2021 year in 2021 year we have january february march like that so on up to december so let us take first month january so on january first day january first we will record temperature of the rail first hour what is the temperature second hour what is the temperature third hour what is the temperature like that up to 24 hours we will record on first day and in this 24 hours what is the maximum temperature you got what is the minimum temperature you got we will record so this is the maximum and minimum temperature on day one similarly you also record okay so similarly we also record what is the maximum and minimum temperature on jan second like first hour second hour third hour up to 24 hours on jan second and among all these hours what is the maximum you got what is the minimum you got okay so that is the maximum and minimum temperature on jan second so like this you will get what is the maximum minimum temperature on jan third jan fourth jan fifth and so on up to jan 31st so now you have 31 days maximum and minimum temperature of january month right so once you got this 31 days maximum temperature and minimum temperature so jan 1 to 31 we have all maximums jan 1 to 31 we have all minimums so now among this again 1 to 31 what is the maximum you can note down so like on first you have 20 on second you have 30 and so on up to 31 so what is the ma- maximum 30 like that right so 1 to 31 maximum you got and 1 to 31 minimum you got so in january month what is the maximum temperature and what is the minimum temperature we have got now right like this each month you will start recording what is the maximum temperature and what is the minimum temperature so now let us go through this now right so in january month what is the maximum temperature and what is the minimum temperature okay we got now similarly for february month we also have what is the maximum what is minimum march month what is the maximum what is the minimum temperature like that so on up to december you have now what we do from january to december highest is 58 right and from january to december lowest is what 10 degree centigrade right so now you got this highest temperature and lowest temperature of year what 2021 2021 what is the highest temperature and what is the lowest temperature we got similarly what we will do okay we will make same data for last 5 year so let, let us say this is 5th year this is 4th year okay so this is 4th year this is 3rd year this is 2nd year and this is 1st year right so for 5th year we got 58 highest temperature and 10 lowest temperature for fourth year we got 50 highest temperature 30 lowest temperature so like this for five years we have maximum and minimum temperature and uh, what uh, okay so last five years we have maximum temperature and last five years minimum temperature now what we will do average of this five data so 40 plus 45 plus 46 plus 50 plus 58 whole divided by five so which is equal to 47.8 degree centigrade this is the average maximum temperature in five years and similarly this is average of 20 10 15 30 10 divided by 5 which is equal to 85 by 5, 85 by 
so this is the average of last five years minimum data right once you got this average maximum and average minimum for last five years now mean temperature of the section now our target is mean temperature so now mean temperature is simply average of 47.8 plus 17 whole divided by 2 so which is equal to 32.4 degrees centigrade so this is the mean temperature of the section so now once you got this mean temperature tm now we, we can easily calculate distressing temperature td right so so if this table i have taken from irpwm okay indian railways permanent way manual okay they suggest that based on zone so zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 okay td should be in the range of t mean to t mean plus 5 and for zone 4 okay it should be in the range of tm plus 5 to tm plus 10 right so we already know what is tm now let us assume let us take one zone so i am taking here zone 2 okay I am taking this zone. So, what should be the range of TD? TM to TM plus 5. So, now we got TM already. Alright. So, from above data, we have got TM is equal to how much? 32.4 degrees centigrade. And for zone 2, TD was in the range of what? TM to TM plus 5. Alright. So, now tm means what 32.4 tm plus 5 means 32.4 plus 5 so which is equal to 32.4 plus 32.4 to 37.4 therefore distressing temperature range for zone 2 is equal to 32.4 degrees centigrade to 37.4 degrees centigrade so that is how we will calculate distressing temperature okay so this is very very important so once you know distressing temperature okay there are many many applications of this distressing temperature right so like if you want to introduce hot weather if you want to introduce this hot weather patrolling right so 